what do you think some of the worst things that we do for our hormones are? I think the worst thing we do overall is pretending that they don't exist or pretending that we don't have a, <laughs> sh- a different body that is different or, you know what I mean? Um, you know, a- a Kate Northrup has a book called, um, do less where she talks about like living your lifestyle, um, you know, working around your hormonal cycle. And this sounds like, Oh, well, well you couldn't do that. Or this is no, that's brilliant. If you Mm -hmm. are at a different point hormonally, right, where you're like, yeah, I'm just not going to have as much energy. I don't have those creative thoughts flowing during this week. Yeah, I can get all my stuff done. It doesn't mean you're going to be a potato on the couch all day, but you can just give yourself a little more grace, exercise differently, eat differently, lean into that body. And then when their hormones come around again a week later, it's like, holy cow, you feel amazing. 